Hello, welcome to CIA Corner, your favorite program on Tav TV. Yes, I am your co-host, Okun Godwin. Uh, please do well to follow us on all our social media and do well to tap on the notification button so that you'll be able to see all our videos as it keeps coming. Today, I am bringing you a very interesting topic again. And it is centered on, of course, the current um, hardship in the nation, the ongoing hardship in the nation that is rocking the nation. A report states that three states embark on a street protest. That was yesterday. And that's a those states, Lagos State and Oshun State. They embarked on a street protest that's ahead of, you know, the National uh, Labor Congress protest that is meant to start today. I'll be going on a very short break. And when I'm back, I'll bring you full details about this particular headline. Please do well to stay with me. I'll be right back. welcome back from that very short break the protest was said to be organized by joint action front and umbrella body of pro-worker civil society group according to them they embarked on this protest ahead of you know the two days uh, nat nationwide protest that is meant to take place today and tomorrow that's organized by nigeria labor congress This is becoming an issue in the nation, if you ask me, because um, this had been going on the other time we heard of a protest going on in Kano State, protest going on in several states of the nation. And this time around, Edo State, Lagos State, and Oshun State embark on theirs. That was as at yesterday. They term it to be, you know, a prelude of, you know, the nation, the national... Um, rally that's meant to take place today organized by national labor congress nlc i don't know what your own view is concerning this particular headline but to me it's becoming an issue that um you know protest is going on in several states across the nation because of you know, one particular thing that's hardship that's rocking the nation for over time we've been hearing of protests uh, you know, issues happening and um, people embarking on protests. My major concern now is what will be the outcome of this protest? That's my major concern. This particular one, what is it meant to bring to the table? Is the federal government going to listen to us this time around? Are they going to come down and, you know, begin to put things straight, begin to put things right? That's where my concern is. It's not, you know, people going to the streets protesting and, um, you know, carrying black cards and shouting and walking around the streets. That's the main issue here. The main issue is if the government of the day will listen, if the government of the day will rise up and say, okay, let us see where we can put things right. Another thing is, most our government always wait for people to begin to cry out they know things are not going on right if they were to be in our shoes how would they feel if they were to be in the shoes of the masses how would they feel how how would it sound that you know the government of the day is making things hard for the citizens of the the, the nation this is an issue i don't know what your own take is as touching this particular headline do you encourage people to go to the streets protesting? Or is it going to be um, a walk in futility? What's your own take? We've been going on protests on several locations, but the result has always been um, a simple walk in futility. We saw that of the, uh, the toll gate where, um, you know, armed men were shooting randomly, killing the citizens of the nation. Is, is it really necessary we go on protest? Or, you know, the nation goes on protest? Is it really necessary? Another challenge with this protest of the theme is hoodlums are jagging it to, you know, carry out their work of theft, stealing, and, you know, using it for robbery and all whatnot. That's another 
danger side of this protest. Because over time, we, we see when people go on protest, and at the end of the day, we hear reports that, oh, something got missing, or this, that, and that. So is it really necessary people going to the streets to protest? If it were in a state where, um, you know, government listens to the plight of the masses, we will say, okay, it is nice. Like in the Western world, when people go on protest, the government will call themselves to order and say, ah, this is becoming an issue. What's really happening that people are going to the streets to protest? And you begin to see things going on, you know, realigning. But in our own dear country, the reverse is the case. In fact, when people go on protest, it is simply telling the government of the day that, oh, <laughs> you know, you need to continue your, you know, ongoing actions. But I think it is not right. Our government shouldn't wait for people to go, you know, protesting along the streets before they now look for one thing to do and the other. The other time people went for protest, government came out and said oh, that there are some grains stuck somewhere. Or like, you know, people should, he, the president of the nation gave an order for, you know, a certain number of grains should be released. Is this, are we going to continue like this for, you know, the rest of, you know, our days in this nation? Are we going to continue like this? Must it keep on continuing like this? I think it is high time our government sits back to put things straight, put things right. I really feel the government of the day needs to sit down and ask themselves questions. Where are we getting it wrong? Where are we not getting it right? And begin to put things straight. I'm not against the protest, and I'm not also encouraging people to go on a street protest, looking at the danger of protesting. That is my take. I don't know about you. I believe our government will hear us this time around. Please do well to comment your reserve as touching this particular headline. Let us believe that this protest will yield um, a fruitful result. I'll stop here for now. Remember, I'm your co-host, Okon Godwin. Do well to tap on the notification button. Do well to follow us on all our social media handles. We'll keep bringing you interesting headlines as touching the newspaper daily. Thank you and bye for now.